try alcohol shots. I saw shots and questions, but are we taking 10 shots of like liquor? Great. Wait, is it quite, aw. This sounds awesome. I love questions. How personal are these questions? Like I'm a bit nervous. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it depends. If they're general questions, then it's fine. But I don't like letting people know how I really feel about things. Yeah. You know? Well, no, I yeah. do actually. I'm part open book, part crypt. Yeah, well, it's, it's the whole internet as well. I suppose. You know what I mean? That looks like it's alcoholic. It's brilliant. Look, look, you're just getting handed a shot. I do love the being, shot glows because yeah. of the lights. It's beautiful. The company's so, great. It's fantastic. Well. Who would be your three famous guests to a dinner party from any time in history? Oh shit. Okay. Uh, at a dinner party, I would ask Karina Koff, uh, who's a fantastic Twitch streamer, and people don't take her serious enough for my liking. She has a lovely ranch, and I'd go around asking her about all the animals on the ranch, right? Pat Kenny, one of the greatest ever uh, news reporters, presenters, anchors that this country has ever produced. And number three would be. Britney Spears. Oh. Because I want I'd want to know all the juicy details of what she went through and I feel like she's lived a very crazy life. Mm. And they're just the first three people that came to me. Oh, I feel like there's so many. Yeah. But that was a really good selection. Yeah. I would say Prince, my grandmother, and Matt Berry. She's nice. famous to me, so obviously my grandmother's yeah. gonna be there. Yeah. She's I didn't funny. know that was an option. Well, maybe I should pick someone famous. No, that's your no. I like it. I like it. No, stick with it. Matthew Matt right. Perry. Matt Berry. Matt Berry. Who's he's that? from. He's in the IT crowd. He's in um, Toast of London. He's gotta go to father. Oh I'm yes, yes. So yes. attracted to him, I can't. Really? Put it to words. Oh. What's the best and worst thing you've ever tried? Oh fuck! It, in what sense? Oh, it, it, <laughs> on this track. Oh. <laughs> oh, whoa, I could have went salty. Cheers to your, like to your nanny water. as well. To your nanny. Let's go. The best thing I've ever done on this channel was this right now. Absolutely fantastic. Answering questions, chilling out, fucking great. And the worst thing uh, ever on this channel probably was that time we tried the really fucking hot noodles. Uh, I got in my own head with it. Like I thought it was gonna collapse, but I enjoyed it afterwards. I was like, whoa, I wanna do you it again, definitely I wanna put try a link it again. To that video. People, I would like a refresher of that. Worst thing I've tried on the channel was definitely having to eat that spider's like hairy arse. Do you remember wow. that? I really struggled with that. And then the best thing, apart from all the glorious alcohol, which I've tried some amazing stuff here, probably was the Korean fried chicken that we had. I think you gave it to me. You were saying that earlier, so I know, I know it's true. It was just a lovely moment. I feel like you're just enjoying all the shots. I do, I you're love just having it. A great time. Yeah, I do. Love it's it. great. It is great. These questions aren't that bad. What's your most embarrassing school story? Oh my God. Okay. Do you want it? Or... Do you have one? Okay, I already know before, but as soon as you said it, uh, I'll try and uh, say it as condensedly as I can. Okay, so there was this lady called Denise, and uh, everybody, really, beer. everybody really fancied Denise. I was walking home from school one day, and uh, she, Denise was across the road with her friends. One of Denise's friends came over, who was quite older than me, in front of the group of everyone, and said, um, uh, Jamie, uh, Denise said she wants to kiss you, right? And I thought that your mom was taking the piss out of me, so I was like, what the fuck's wrong with you, man? He said, no, I'm not, I'm not messing, she actually fancies you. And I was like, what? And all the lads were like, what the fuck, Jamie? I was like, okay, this is my moment. I uh, feel like this is in like a teen rom-com. Yeah, I'm watching this play yeah, out with surrounds yeah. It was fucking 100% real, I still have PTSD over it. That Christmas, I got a really big uh, mountain bike that was too big for me, and also I'm missing a leg, so I have one leg, so if I fall to the right, I've dropped to the ground, right? And, but it came a thing where all the lads were used to me when I fall to the right, that I dropped to the ground. I was just like, oh, there's Jamie on the floor again. I, I didn't want them to see me live and see that I only had one leg and then she might not want to kiss me. So I decided to get back on, on the bike and cycle over to her. But midway across the road, man, I don't know what happened. There wasn't a, there wasn't a thing in the ground. I just went to the right and it was like dramatically boom onto the ground. I bust me whole mouth open. Oh and no! There was like 50 lads all just going, ah! ah. I, I did slam a door on my nail and then the nail went black and fell off. But then I would go around to people and lift it up afterwards to scare people because it went dead. So like I turned the negative into a positive. So you put it back on? Well, we ha our school was an old TB hospital. So they had these big heavy doors for whatever fucking reason. So I slammed my finger in a door, 
couldn't go home from school because my parents were both working so nobody could come pick me up. So I just sat it out, went home, and then the nail went black and fell off. But you could, there was a point where it was coming off so you could lift it. So there was kind of two stories. The first thing it happening and being really sore. And then the other one was like, just like traumatizing people and being like, eh. So I was, that was the kind of child I was. Oh, oh no. I can see people's souls in here. Is this blue curacao? When was the last time you got recognized from Troy? Was it in London? But actually, I was in St. Stephen's Green and there was an exchange student who came over and said hello. It was really nice. I love when people come and say hi, because I am I love the chats. Mm. Do I drink the shot for us or not? <gasps> I didn't drink it! Not joking. Not joking. Literally before this today's shoot, I went into the pub down the road. I got a little little coke before, before the shoot. And the person at the bar was like, oh, there's Jamie J. Carr. And he was like, I like your, your videos. Stunning. And then he mentioned the Troy channel. As well. I never know what to do though, because like I'm always like, because they're like, hey, I know you're from Try, and I'm like, but what's your name? Tell me, yeah. what's crack? And then I'm like, how are you getting on? You know, I, I love like having the chats. I always say like, because he sometimes said, they're like, okay, calm down, and I'm like, tell me more, <laughs> and then they regret coming up. That fella just said Jamie J Carr first, mm. so I was like, dude, have I met this chap on a night out before mm. or something? So I never want to just go, yes, that's me. Mm. The odd time it happens where there's a guy and a girl and the guy will be like, I know you from Try," and then she'll be like, I know you from Instagram. And both of them are like, how do you know? It happened at Bonobo's, the place that does oh really, actually God. they do really nice wow. pizza. He came up to say hi and she came up to say hi and they were like, how do we both know? Cause he, did, he cool. doesn't know who she follows on Instagram yeah. and she doesn't know who he watches on Try. And I was like, I'm a common denominator. What's the first thing you would do if you were Kardashian famous? Wow. Okay, let's do it and we just give it no time to think, right? Okay, no time. Yeah, here we go. And you're first. Bring back plastic straws. Oh yes. Fuck oh, yeah. They're it's not working. It's look not it. working. Look it. It's it's time. There's definitely a better option than what we I can't open my Capri Sun. It doesn't stab. It's so hard, there's a million things I want to do. I know, but think of the just like top of your head. Top I'm gonna regret the plastic straws comment. Top of my head, top of my head, top of my head. Get my hold. Top, top, no. Uh, no. Get I'm, your hold. <laughs> right. <laughs> cool. And we'll Prince. Let's go with that. There we go. Yeah. You get your hold. No. <laughs> and I would bring back plastic straws. We're both terrible people. <laughs> no, I would. Um, you can't take it back now. No, I would tra I'd travel all around Ireland and finish uh, the series. Time. You can do that now. I can't, what I would you do if you were a Kardashian? I don't can't. I don't have the money for a camper van. I'd rent a camper van. I'd rent a camper van. I love that you'd rent a camper van. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, I just rent it. <laughs> That's all I want to do. Because Kim is only dying to rent that camper van and I, go around Ireland. I, I a modest one. A modest one. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to you, that's all I'm trying no, to save go. up for at the moment. So I wear a prosthetic. Um, I would hire a fuckload of people to make the most comfortable, uh, like like a bionic bionic leg that no one else in the whole world has oh, ever seen. Real. And Why I'd would be just be like to fucking do? running <laughs> by hair every day. Like then I still get the camper van though. Yeah, of course you can. Right. It can be a camper van can be in it where you're like oh, activate camper van. <laughs> if I had unlimited money and power and influence, I would take myself completely off the grid. I wouldn't exist anymore publicly. Oh, I would my oh. whole life would be behind closed doors. I would not have a persona publicly. I'll just vanish same one day. A secret, like million yeah, or something. You don't even have to say it was you if you want to stay off the grid. But I'll just know, it. you know. Would you rather be excessively gassy or excessively sweaty? Oh, that's sweaty. a good question. I don't mind being sweaty. I'm kind of sweaty right now. Oh, shit, sorry. Sweaty. I feel like I'm already both. So. I'm a very sweaty sleeper. Well, I already am sweaty, so. Yeah, it doesn't. I think sweat is very healthy. I mean, gassy is a healthy ish, I suppose. Um, but I also can't burp properly. So anything like air related, I'm triggered by. Like I can't burp normally, it's very annoying. And I wish it went out the other way. And then it was just excessively gassy, but it's not, it gets trapped in my chest. So I would take sweat any day over any kind of air mm. issues. And of course, if you're like standing still and sweating profusely, then. Well, that's the way it would be, because you'd be all the time. Well, then I just have to be constantly be moving to be like, God, she's, she must be just such an <laughs> athlete that I'm constantly rushing, like <laughs> dripping sweat. I mean, I already powder excessively. Oh. <laughs> Don't rub it in, I can't do that. Can no. Why? It, I have a, it's called ORCPD. Just do it. No, it's not, it's not that simple. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Could be beer. Or 
tequila or like a blended whiskey. What will be your last meal, your death row meal? Oh, oh, like how much time do you have? Cheers. Uh, you, you take this one. So for starters, we're having mussels in a garlic and white wine sauce from Lenans, County Clare. As a side, we're gonna have a little bit of smoked <coughs> salmon, right? Again, Lenans. Main is the steak and fritz from Le Relais de l'Entrecote. I think I'm saying that right. Parisian restaurant does the best steak. Unreal, very cheap and cheerful. They only do steak and fritz. As a side, we're having a cheese board, okay? Yeah. Beautiful. I'm assuming I'm in prison, right? Because it's death row meal, right? Yeah. So she's incarcerated. Yeah. For what? Who knows, pick what it could be. It's your, you Comment can't... below. It's your, it's your Why would it's I be incarcerated? Problem. Dessert. Mum's apple tart, which is famous in the parish, but she's baked a shiv into it. A shiv, yeah. Right? Yeah. And then we're gonna have a Sazerac, tepid Valdic, and a Coke Zero. <laughs> Jamie, what would be your final death? Snack menu? box. <laughs> no, I take it back. I want his. I want a snack box. Where Where's the shiv go, though? Chicken gravy. Oh, sorry. I take it all back. I want a snack box of chicken gravy and a tube of Pringles. Macari's chipper. Macari fucking slaps. They're so good. Give me an Italio Irish chipper mm. any day of the week. Oh, this is gorgeous. Is this um amaretto? It's nutty. What's your most embarrassing drunk story? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. They're not embarrassing if you don't remember them, Debbie. Okay, in college, all right, <laughs> I met this lovely lady who, you know, Denise. I'm still friends with. No, Denise would never, never okay, see me in okay. that way. To me, she was the most beautiful girl in the class. I thought Denise was the most beautiful girl in the world. Times change. When her hair moves, Times change. it would be slow mo. Times change. Okay. Yeah, she becomes my girlfriend. It's great. Stunning. And she starts asking me to like parties and stuff. And, uh, great. I just was nervous and I wanted her friends to like mm -hmm. me because, you know, it can be a make or break. Yeah, of course. Relationships. I got really fucking drunk and made a holy show of myself and I woke up in a bush and my leg was off. Okay. And it was the weirdest, most panicked place. You didn't know where it was. Yes. Were, Fuck, that is a big deal when you don't bush, know where it is. And it was dark out, it was the back garden. So I just had to holler out like, yeah, like fucking what the fuck hell? And thankfully someone like said, your leg's over there, but it was so embarrassing that everybody walked out to the back garden and seen me like legless. So that, because that was one of the first time that anybody like publicly has ever, like a group of people going, oh, you fucking nuts. That experience, isn't an ideal moment for me socially, but I think that in the context of being Irish, is so normal. Thank God we're all Irish then. I think everyone has woken up in a bush or like a bathtub or... <laughs> Have they? Ra yes, mm. I, I really do think so. I was 16 and my boyfriend, it was my boyfriend's 21st. His cousins were like punks from Canada. They were like, yeah, Kira, because I was trying to be so much older than my years. And they were like, we're going to show you how to do a gas chamber, which is a certain way to take a shot that I, have never done since. Gosh, where you turn a, a brandy glass upside down and you inhale. This is this is why I am the way that I am. And I was like, yeah, of course I'll do it. All six stone of me uh, and just passed out in the disabled toilets. I don't remember any of it, but I was like, I'm clearly not well. So I took myself away to not be a bother to anybody. But it was really embarrassing because it was like everybody else at this party is able to hold their drink, mm. but also maybe a 16 year old shouldn't be doing Jesus, gas chambers no. with. Canadian punks. <laughs> Actually, what I would love to know is anyone watching, please let us know your embarrassing yeah, drunk please, stories please. because everyone has them and I love hearing other and people's because like, it'll make us feel yes, let's share our pain. This question is from Roy Yeagerman. Which ah, Roy! Right. How are you, Roy? Right? You couldn't possibly know all of these people. I thought, you don't know Roy Yeagerman. Sorry, what was his surname? Yeagerman. You just kind of trailed off there. Yeah, 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 come on. Wow. Which triers are most likely to survive the zombie apocalypse? I'd pick you because you, I feel like you could be a good strategist and you'd fucking put people in their place. John Sharp's in it uh, because he just, he'd, he'd... Ah, he'd sing them a song. Yeah, he'd fucking charm them. Like, he'd be like, how are you, zombie? My name's John, how are you getting on? And the zombie, like, he'd end up fucking having a chat with the zombie. Uh, do, you know, do you know the way John goes on? So John... He'd be the, distra he'd be the decoy, but he probably would be a self-sacrifice. Get on with them, he'd be fucking drink. And he'd be like, do you know what? I'm a zombie now, lads. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> he'd, he'd like... be... So maybe not, John. Yeah. Would you say you'd pick me? Yeah, you, John. Would you really? I really fucking would, yeah. Cause I just feel like you you have a level head. Uh, we'll say Sean, cause he's he's big, uh, you know. Mike, big. He's like a big bloke, you know. If we'll get him to work out a little bit more. I don't. 
and then you know. I think you're looking at this absolutely wrong. Well, yeah, but, yeah, but then you can give us your one. I'm going with Sean, you, and John Sharpson, and I think. Well, I'm, we're, I'm we're, honored. We're fucking set, we're, honored. You we're should see set. me with a machete. Yeah. I would say Kelly, Grania because she really surprised me when I did a shoot with her where we had to eat bugs. When it comes to the inevitable zombie apocalypse, you want the people that are gonna do the things that nobody wants to do but need to be done. Eating friends, <laughs> killing friends, <laughs> and Colin. Because I just feel like he'd low-key have the cure. Yeah, oh, I get And he'd you. be real low-key about it. It's mad, you could just feed me with shots of Oh, it did taste like Hubba Bubba. I totally forgot no, what we were drinking. That. Did you even it taste did. It that? smelled so strongly. Yeah, we didn't even strawberry. Taste What's your favorite drinking song? What is that? Drinking song. You're gonna have to sing it. I this can't is sing it, this is spicy. Mine is the one that you see it went viral. What the look at that? That went viral on Facebook where it's like the bird in the hole and the toad in the hole and the hole. down in the valley, oh, and on that tree there was a rare bird, a rattling bird in the tree, in the branch, in the branch, in the tree, in the. Like, how do you not know that? That's not. That's not. That's the rattling bug. I don't know the fucking word. The squirrel went up the tree and he said, there's two nuts in the tree. Brought the nuts down, bring the fuck them, dig the hole. Not at all how it is. And then he drank some more nuts. Oh, the valley, oh. I don't know it, but I'll try singing along with the bits I know. That's actually not my favourite song. Okay, what's yours? Sorry. I have a really easy one. Right, we'll sing you one you like then. Come guess me this riddle, what beats pipe and fiddle? What's hotter than mustard and milder than cream? What best wets your whistle? What's clearer than crystal? Sweeter than honey and stronger than steam? What can make the dumb talk? What can make the lame walk? The elixir of life and philosopher's stone. Harry Potter. And what helped Mr. Brummel to dig the Thames Tunnel? Sure wasn't did whiskey from old in a shown. It's a bit shit. It's no, called the rumors awesome. of whiskey. But I can do the ones, but there nobody understands what that was. That was so cool. Jesus Christ. The old triangle when jingle jangle all along the banks of the canal. Do you at least know on Raglan Row? On Raglan Row when jingle jangle. All along. Every Irish person ever who died is turning in the grave. What you mean? That was fucking fantastic. Was it? It was like a fucking tenor. They were very good questions. Yeah. Like, thank you for such interesting questions. We had a nice mix. Some were light, some were dark. But I feel like there's more that we could answer. I think we kind of scratched the surface. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to know what else you want yes. us to answer. So if there's anything that we haven't answered that is a burning question. A boring one. Maybe like a spicy on one. fire. Let us know. Let us know. Please. Yeah, because if it's too spicy, we just want to answer. So we want comment do... down below, ask us your deepest, darkest questions. Well, I feel like the least you can fucking do. S subscribe for Denise. Is click the button. For Denise. For Denise. For Denise. I mean, Denise, if you're watching. Thumbs up. Hit the bell. <laughs> you absolute heartless bitch. No, no. <laughs> Denise, I'm sorry to embarrass you when I finish. I'm not like... sorry.